I'm existing in this plane. Why don't I vibe with anybody? No, what is up, YouTube? and welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Prometheus Alert Manager. So I wanna show you what is the Alert Manager, um, what is the architecture of Alert Manager, what it does, what's its role, how does it plug into your infrastructure, and how to spin it up. So without further ado, let's go. So we're going to start with the um, GitHub repo. If you head over to my link in the description on the source code, you will see the Docker development YouTube series. Um, there is a Prometheus monitoring folder inside that is a 1.14.8 under the Kubernetes folder. This will allow us to pretty much monitor all sorts of aspects of Kubernetes. So just keep in mind the version number when you're deploying this. It may work on older as well as newer version, but I've tested it on 1.14.8. So to use the um, Prometheus Alert Manager, we're going to be, need some Prometheus infrastructure and some metrics in order to monitor. So what I'm gonna be doing is deploy the Prometheus operator, use that to create a Prometheus instance, and then I'm going to use that to monitor my uh, Kubernetes cluster, pull some metrics, and then use Alert Manager to fire alerts. So if you're unaware of the Prometheus operator and the service monitor concept, check out the card in the top right corner. Um, I've done a video on the Prometheus operator as well as the link down in the description to the source code so you can follow along. To start, I'm going to create a new namespace called monitoring. And when that's created, I'm going to apply in the monitoring namespace the Prometheus operator folder. That'll go ahead and deploy the Prometheus operator. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the, in the monitoring namespace, Space, apply the Prometheus cluster monitoring folder. That'll go ahead and deploy a Prometheus instance inside the monitoring namespace that we're going to be using um, to monitor infrastructure on Kubernetes and get some metrics for Alert Manager. So now that we have Prometheus up and running, we're going to have to monitor something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to de deploy Node Exporter to monitor my Linux infrastructure and produce some metrics. If you're unfamiliar with Node Exporter, check out the uh, card in the top right corner as well as the link down below with the source code. You can follow along and learn about Node Exporter. But you can also, um, if you already have some metrics, you can just use those metrics. So it could be custom metrics from applications, um, Node Exporter metrics, any kind of Kubernetes cluster metrics. Now to get some telemetry I'm going to apply in the monitoring namespace the node exporter folder. So this will go ahead and deploy a daemon set as well as a service monitor that will start extracting metrics um, on my Linux machine so all the Linux um, telemetry will start being made available to Prometheus to scrape. Now with Node Exporter deployed, I can head over to my Grafana dashboard and I can look at now system metrics that I want to monitor. So let's say I'm interested in the amount of memory used on this machine. You can see here I have Prometheus, Node Exporter, Docker Desktop, this is my host and it's currently using 67% of memory. So let's say we want to write an alert for memory. In this example, I'm going to say, if memory goes higher than 60%, I want to alert. Now you might have a higher number than that. I'm just using this as an example. So what we want to do is deploy alert manager and then write an alert um, for, for um, RAM used higher than 60% and then see if we can get an alert firing and how easy it is to do. I think I'm an addict. Yeah. So what is Alert Manager? Alert Manager basically manages the life cycle of the alert. It also helps with the distribution of the alerts um, to different users. So also external systems such as PagerDuty, Ops Genie, um, Webhook interfaces, so it could go to Slack, Microsoft Teams, and other external systems. It also allows grouping of alerts. So if you have a bunch of similar alerts and you don't want um, all of the alerts to go off, you can group them together and create one alert um, for that scenario. It also has a feature called inhibition so you can suppress alerts. So if you have like a, a wide scale outage across your infrastructure, you only get limited alerts because you don't want thousands of alerts to be triggered. And lastly, it can also silence alerts. So if your technical teams and your support teams are working 
working on fixing a problem, you can temporarily silence the alerts. Now, I created this folder called Alert Manager, and Alert Manager is kind of part of the Prometheus operator. So when you deploy Prometheus operator, you get a Prometheus um, object, you get a service monitor object, and you also get Alert Manager object. So we can go ahead and deploy Alert Manager by making the small YAML file. I also have a um, secret, which I'll show you in a second. That's the configuration for Alert Manager, as well as a service account, um, basic security things that it will need, um, and a service monitor to scrape itself. So if we take a look at this, we can see, okay, the kind is alert manager and we give it some labels. And we also say the base image we want to deploy. Um, we want to deploy it on a Linux node. We want three replicas so it can run in a highly available manner. Um, and then the service account that we want to run as. So very, very simple. And we can go ahead and deploy alert manager by just applying in the monitoring namespace um, that folder. So I'll go ahead and do that and then wait a couple of minutes for that pod to come alive. So now that we have Prometheus deployed and we have Alert Manager deployed, what does Alert Manager do now? Um, what is the next step? So we've got to remember our metrics are sitting within Prometheus. So we're going to need to do two things. The first thing is we're going to need to create a rule that says um, why we should alert and what we should alert on. So we're going to write an expression stating that we want to um, we want to basically monitor um, memory usage of our machine. When it goes over a certain usage, we want to fire an alert. So we're going to create a, a Prometheus rule to state that rule. And then what we're going to be doing is we need to tell Prometheus where to send that alert. So we're going to hook up our um, Prometheus with the alert manager. So with alert manager up and running, let's take a look at that rule that I, that I uh, spoke about. So if you take a look at the Prometheus cluster monitoring where our definition is for that Prometheus, I created an alert.yaml. And if we take a look at that, you see the Prometheus rule defined here. Now, the important thing, the first thing to know is that labels in Kubernetes are very important. We use labels to wire up uh, pods to deployments. We use labels to wire up services to deployments. We use label to also wire up service monitors to services and we also use labels to wire up prometheus instances to service monitors same way here we use labels to um, wire up the prometheus rule to the right instance so you might have a lot of prometheus instances running now if we want this rule to be used by our um, certain prometheus we're going to give it a label here so i say prometheus k8 and i say roll alert rules so before we continue and look at the at the rule further let's take a look at the prometheus.yaml and we'll see that it has a rule selector so this is important here are our two labels role alert rules and prometheus k8s so we tell this prometheus to select rules that match these labels so this is how prometheus will pick up our rule that we defined here for our alert now if we go back to the prometheus rule we can now look at the alert definition so we can say that this rule is a type alert it has some annotations so just to give you on the ui some um, description text of what this alert means and then also an expression so we write this expression now this is the prometheus expression so you can grab this i basically use the grafana dashboard to come up with this so i just say 100 minus the amount of memory available in bytes for node exporter um, and then i multiply that by 100 and i divide it by the number of total bytes for node exporter and then in this example i'm just going to say greater than 60. so i want to know basically the total memory um, used is higher than 60 then alert on it you also have a time of um, two minutes specified here so this expression has to be true for the amount of time specified here so it's going to take two minutes um, for our alert to start firing so now that we define this alert Prometheus will select the alert, but it's not going to know what to do with it. So to see if Prometheus picked up the alert, um, we're going to do get pods, and then we're going to port forward into the Prometheus pod on port 9090. And if we head over to localhost 9090, there's an alert page. And under here, we can see my example alert. So we know that by specifying the labels, Prometheus has picked up our alert and we can see all the description text and everything about this alert and that it's bending. So under two minutes, in two minutes time, this one will become red. 
and it'll actually start um, firing but now it doesn't know which alert managers to send it to so we have to tell prometheus which alert manager to use and to do that we go to the prometheus.yaml and we have the rule selector but we also have this alerting section so we tell prometheus that um, this is the alert manager we want to use it's in the monitoring namespace and it's a name is alert manager dash main so if we head back to alert manager here we can see that it has a name called main so that's how you wire it up now two minutes has passed and we can see our alert has gone red one other thing to notice as well if you're troubleshooting alerts while they're not firing you can see the value here that we're picking up uh, make sure the values in you is correct so that your threshold is met so our value we said it's over 60 memory um, usage and the value is currently 70 and the alert is now firing so that means prometheus is now sending the alert to alert manager so now let's go take a look at alert manager and see if that alert is firing or being received so to do that i'm going to head over to um, the alert manager pod so do a kubectl get pods and you'll see there's three instances i just pick any of them and then i do a port forward to port 9093 so once you've done that you can head over to the browser and we should see our metrics in action so this is the user interface for alert manager so when alert starts firing you'll see them appear here you can also filter on it um, you can look at inhibited silence and all alerts received so we can see our one has popped up here in our namespace monitoring um, so if you namespace your and group your um, alerts together you can actually see a nice breakdown per different stacks of services so in our case here we have an alert firing we can get all the metadata about the alert we can dive into info and we can see memory on node and the ip address is currently under pressure so this gives us a good summary of what the alert means and we can go ahead and investigate that while we investigate it we might choose to silence the alert i think i'm an addict yeah. Now there's a lot you can do from here. I want you to head over to the Prometheus um, documentation on alerting uh, and you can basically see how to configure alert manager into more detail. So if we head back to our folder, alert manager, there's an alert manager.secret.yaml and this is the configuration of alert manager and I just put the default configuration here. So you can probably extend this if you're using um, Slack, Ops Genie, PagerDuty, um, SMTP, you can put the details inside this configuration. The reason it's a secret is that you can configure it with API keys and, and things like that. So it's, it's good to keep this as a secret in Kubernetes. So if you head over to the configuration, you can see here's a bunch of different ways um, to configure it. You can look at email config. So if you want your alert to send an email, you can configure that. Um, and a bunch of different monitoring solutions such as like um, Slack messaging, page, pager duty, um, and also just the webhook. So if you just have an external endpoint or you want to build your own receiver, um, it supports basic webhooks here as well. So you can action and, and build some integration into um, Alert Manager. And this configuration is um, quite self-explanatory. You can see we have the global section here, which maps to the global section over here. And depending on your needs, you can go ahead and configure um, whatever you want, wherever you want to send that alert. So this is really useful. I'm not going to cover each of these in the scope of this video, but I may make some um, little bit more in-depth tutorials on some of these sections in the future. So let me know down in the comments if that is something you want to see. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope it was useful. Um, like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what sort of videos you want me to cover in the future. And until next time, peace.